Good morning, I'm Matt Sheehan, live at our digital desk. Here's a look at this morning's headlines. New into the newsroom, eastbound Charter Oak at Orange Prairie has been closed due to a car crash. The incident occurred around 720 this morning. The Director of Public Relations and Community Engagement, Thomas Brook of Peoria Public Schools, confirmed one of the vehicles involved is a Peoria Public Schools bus. Peoria police officers on scene confirmed there are no injuries. We will update the story with more information when it becomes available. In the Twin Cities, a three-year project in Uptown Normal stalled after the developer opted to pull out. Iowa-based Bush Development announcing yesterday it's ending their involvement in the Trail East development. The town of Normal has been working with Bush on the mostly residential development since 2018. Last month, council approved adjusting the original five-story plans to a four-story plan. Normal Mayor Chris Coos says it's disappointing, but he's not giving up on the project. We uh, approved that plan and, and citing buildings in, in that location and others in the uptown. So we're going to move forward with it. And again, we've got tenants um, that want to be located here. So um, it's, it's a win for, for everybody, I think. He says construction plans owned by an architecture firm are completed and the town will be reaching out to other developers to now take on the project. Staying in the Twin Cities, leaders with the city of Bloomington yesterday housing an open house, giving updates on the first phase of the O'Neill Park and pool project that's underway. The forum also lets community members share what they'd like to see added to the project after initial phases are complete. The first phase of the project is to install a new aquatics facility and new park amenities like a skate park and a splash pad. Jay Tetzloff, director of Parks and Recreation for the city, tells us he was glad to see members give their thoughts. We're checking in now with meteorologist Adam Sherwinski. Adam, how are we doing today? Doing all right there, Matt. Taking a look outside, temperatures will climb back into the 80s later on today. We'll see clouds start to increase by the afternoon hours as that cold front comes through. Might spark a few isolated showers and thunderstorms very early on in the evening hours. So if you're going to a Friday night football game, especially in our northwest counties, you might need to bring an umbrella for a little bit. Clear skies behind that. 84, partly cloudy to mostly clear conditions. A little bit cooler than the day before. Saturday and Sunday, Yes, dry here. Lots of sunshine warming up to 88 by Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Our next chance for showers and thunderstorms 70 by Wednesday and Thursday. For updates on these stories and more, download the CI Proud to Go mobile app.